Hi! In this video I will explain you how to set up units in AutoCAD. Now, one thing I recommend is drawing with scale 1 per 1. I mean, if you want to draw a line with 1 meter of length, draw it with the real length and not with 1 centimeter, for example. That's because it's easier to not get confused and you only need to scale the drawing when you will plot it. Now, if you look to the bottom left corner, you can see the coordinates of the mouse pointer. And of course, the first one is X, the second Y, and the third one is Z. And this is always zero because we are working in 2D. Also, this point is where my coordinates are all zero. Now, I am going to set up my units. I will type units and press enter to open this panel. Here where it says length, I can choose the type that I want. In my case I use decimal units, but I know in some countries it's common to use the architectural or engineering units. In the precision you have all these options to choose. And in this side you can choose the type of angle units. I will choose decimal degrees. Now in the insertion scale, we will choose the units that we want. If you use standard units, but those are just used for conversion when we want to insert a block or an external image. Just for drawing, the units don't matter. That's because AutoCAD has a dimensionless system of measurement. We only need to put a scale when to print. Now I want to show you a common issue, especially when we are using millimeters, is that we notice that our workspace is not very wide. But this is simple to solve. If I draw a very large line, like for example 100,000 millimeters, of course, it will not fit in the drawing, but I'm going to type Z for zoom, I press enter, and now I type A for all, and as you see, my workspace is much larger now. Okay, so this is all in this video, so if you like these tutorials, you can click here to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon.